Hello and welcome back. I am Conan Librarian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry. And today I'm going to be opening up the Sinnoh Fanny Pack. Let's take a look. So I picked this up for a couple reasons. One, it was pretty cheap. When I got it, it's on sale for I think only like 12 bucks. They're usually maybe 15. And if you take a look at this thing, there's a ton of different colors and styles. I went with gray because it's pretty neutral. Uh, the other reason is uh, I'm looking for something kind of, well, lightweight and easy and kind of destructible if need be. I'm going to be doing some camping and uh, just some vacationing coming up in June where I'm actually going to be staying at a campground uh, near a beach. So I was looking for something that uh, can at least withstand some water and is not going to be, you know, totally destroyed by sand and is going to be something I can just sling on if I'm going into town. So when I found this, it seemed to kind of fit the bill. Uh, it's IPX4, so that's not completely waterproof. That's I believe if you look it up, IPX4 is like indirect splashes, so it's not waterproof, but it does mean that a little bit of water is not going to bother it, which isn't too bad. Opening it up initially, now it says it's got padding on the back that's nice and soft, and it's really not too bad. Um, I've got some other fanny packs and sling bags that have much better cushioning, but I will say, while this isn't terrible, I wouldn't rely on this all day or if I had something really heavy or clunky in here. I can't say that it'd do a great job of, you know, keeping me totally comfortable. Now, what I do like is the amount of storage or at least organization that it claims to have. What I wanted was something that has some organization so I can kind of easily reach for a pocket that has certain things when I'm on the go, especially when you're on vacation, if you're carrying extra stuff or since I'll be at a beach a lot, or at least in a warmer climate, I don't want to have a bunch of stuff in my pocket, but I also don't want to have to dig around for a whole lot. And since I'll be wearing mostly probably board shorts, uh, probably the entire time, I'm not really going to have that much real estate, and I don't want to carry something heavy. So that was the other reason I chose this, is just because it's not overall a very heavy bag to begin with. The strap is just pretty basic, it's not super thick it is wide which i like so that means it's going to be a little more comfortable and i do like that it has this little bit of reflective band on it i know that may seem cheesy let's see here yeah picks it up uh, that may seem a little cheesy but at the same time it's not a bad thing especially if i'm walking around in the dark say on the beach or on the boardwalk so as far as the organization like i said i wanted something where i know i put x here x here x here and I can just reach in for those things. Uh, the other reason I like this is because it's pretty big for as cheap as it is. We start out right up front here with a pretty good size pocket. And uh, for, just we'll say size judging, everyone's pretty familiar with an Altoids tin. Altoids tin, just over, it's about three and a half inches. It's about two inches tall. <clears throat> so... Altoids tin, right up front, fits with plenty of space. So if I wanted to, say, keep a wallet really accessible, although I wouldn't want to keep it up front, but say I wanted to keep something easy to get to, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So while I don't have all the sundries on me that I'm going to be taking to the beach, that's still a little bit of ways, uh, what I am going to do is be unpacking some things from my regular sling bag. Uh, lately, honestly, I've just been using... This thing, I know it doesn't really fit on camera. This was, uh, I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart a while ago because my favorite sling bag uh, by Nick Guard, I actually cannot find the thing. So I went from using a fanny pack I really like to really wanting a decent sling bag. But most importantly, it has what I want. And it has a few things that, while, like I said, I want to stay slim while I'm walking around, there are still a few necessities I really want to have with me. So... First off is a little first aid and sundries kit. I want to have that with me whether I'm at the beach or I'm walking around town because also I'll be in kind of a touristy town and I really don't want to spend 20 bucks on a box of band-aids. So having just something where I can 
get it quick and take care of what I need to isn't too bad. And being right up front makes it nice and accessible. I do like that the zipper like is covered pretty well. So when you're wearing this out, it's not super exposed. I do like that. Uh, the next one, here we go, is pretty big. I will say this thing opens up super wide. I do really like that. So if I'm really searching through here, say I'm wearing this on my front or even as a fanny pack sling bag, it really opens huge so I can really search through there. So up next is a little bit of electronics. Uh, this is washing out uh atom tech this is a really tiny little uh charging sorry battery pack it's only about 3000 milliamps but i love it because i mean this thing is small it's barely any bigger than an altoids tin and you can see it's super thin it comes in let's see here at maybe a quarter of an inch a little bigger a third of an inch no that's a quarter of an inch so I really like this thing just because it tucks so easy. And because when I'm walking around, especially if I'm on the beach or I'm in town, something like that, I want to be able to charge my phone if I need to, whether it's an emergency or just walking around because I've spent all day taking pictures or videos. Uh, and then this I've actually showed off before. This is just a little electronics kit. So that way, too, not only can I charge my phone, but I can hook up to say a wall source or a computer or another electronic source or have all the connections to charge my wife's phone or kids tablets or whatever we've got going on the switch maybe if we're walking around with that so that's pretty basic i also don't know that i'd want to cram this too much because uh, maybe even just leave space for my phone itself in here so still staying pretty light when i zip this up still pretty easy still pretty slim and feels good i mean there's really not a lot of protection i will say between these just kind of this thin nylon inside so i would say if you had something i guess fragile or you didn't want things banging around you may want to consider some sort of lining in here maybe putting like there we go <clears throat> which isn't a bad thing to actually have on a beach or when you're walking around in the sun it's just a bandana in here or some sort of cloth or something just to keep stuff from kind of crunching into each other. So zip that up. And this third pouch is another nice big one. Now inside this is also a second zipper pouch. So if I'm going to put something in here, I want to make sure that it stays comfortable. So I have an idea. I've got two things that I know I'm going to carry on me. I carry this. A lot of times I might just carry the single packs actually on these dude wipes. These guys here, just the single ones, which are great to have in an emergency and they store anywhere. But I like carrying these just because I have kids. I make messes. They make messes. Now, my wife brought it to my attention that some people may think that what I'm talking about is, well, bathroom accidents all the time. That is not, in fact, the case. While they're great for restroom needs, these are just great for cleaning up, wiping off, refreshing, whatever it is. I just really like dude wipes, especially if I'm going to be going somewhere hot where I want to freshen up or somewhere where I'm going to be needing to, say, clean off sunscreen or just in general try to freshen up. Dude wipes in the back here definitely keep this kind of more padded. And this is just a folded up, uh, like a grocery bag, a reusable tote bag. I like this because one, it's cheap, so I can, you know, destroy this, fill it with sand, whatever it is. So this is good for carrying around, you know, all those seashells that the kids always find on the beach every year. Or say I'm in town and picking up just random knickknacks, or I need to carry, you know, clothes that are too warm or too light, whatever it is. Whenever I go on vacation, I like to have one of these because it's a thousand times that suddenly you're carrying something you bought in a cheap plastic bag. So having a tote like this just makes life a lot easier when you're on vacation. Now this size, let me see. This thing is about five inches tall. It's about four and a half wide. 
So going in here, it stuffs, which is good. And let's see how this zips up. So that zips up pretty easily. And I'll say, for all this stuff in here, what I don't have yet is my phone. And you know what? Say I do want to throw my phone in here. Do this, cushion it here. And, I mean, this Altoids tin is nice for, you know, being an Altoids tin, but I will probably switch up what I usually carry in my sling bag is this, which is a pretty comprehensive uh, kit. More than likely, this will just stay at the campsite along with, well, our actual full camping uh, first aid kit. But uh, I don't need to pack something like this if I'm just at, at the beach or if I'm at the campsite where I have something bigger, I'm walking around town. So what I'll probably end up doing is, since I want to, like I said, carry something a little slimmer, maybe just slim down this into something a little more flexible. But for, you know what? Actually, yes. I have the perfect thing. Uh, I know this has shown up in a lot of my videos. Uh, but this little zipper pouch here will be perfect to become a little first aid kit. Still flexible, too. There we go. So I now have first aid. And if you can see in here, even though I've stuffed this pouch in there, I do have plenty of room for other stuff. That's something I will say for the Sino or Sino. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. But it does have plenty of room in the pouches if you really want to stuff this thing full. Each pocket really does have a lot of space, and even in here, say I wanted to go a little bit bigger. Say instead of this, like, almost, I don't know, wallet size charger, I want to go with something a little bigger. This guy is a, yeah, this guy's a 5,000. It's still nice and compact, actually, that's not too bad. But since I'm trying to save weight, I'll probably stick with this. But say I wanted to go with something bigger. I still have the room in there, and if I want to, say, throw my wallet as opposed to carrying it in my pocket, I could pretty easily throw a wallet in here, too. And again, still a lot of space in here if I wanted to shove extra stuff. And then the main pouch here, I mean, that's one thing. I can really keep filling this out, but you notice at this point, it's really starting to stretch here. And while I do have some extra room in this pocket, maybe that's what I'll do. Because I'd want to stay comfortable. And that's something that you really have to think about when you're stuffing a fanny pack or sling bag versus some other stuff. Is that, you know, what is the comfort when you're slinging it? Not just how much stuff you can fit in a bag, but, you know, what is the comfort? Now, if you noticed here on the side, it does have a spot for if you're running headphones into here. So not only can, you know, I could slit this open. I, like most people these days, though, have wireless earbuds. So I'll probably just put a little Gorilla Tape or electrical tape on the back of that. But it does mean I do have some extra storage, actually, here. Yeah, in the wings. So honestly, what I might do, it's not a bad place for a, a stash, right? Just... For example, this is not, I'm not going to stash a dude wipe where I already have a pack of dude wipes. But say I want to keep a little bit of emergency cash just hidden on me or something like that where I can take this and shove it into the side here. Is not too bad and it still fits just fine. So I know, like I said, I do not want to carry a bunch of stuff on me and this as it stands i feel like does pretty well uh, now the website or rather on amazon it claims that you can carry a 350 milliliter bottle i think it says yeah a 350 milliliter bottle which, you know, I don't know how that's going to work and still comfortably be able to carry, any, carry anything else. But for being a small bag, it is surprisingly roomy with what I think is pretty good organization. And in the back here, say I don't want to do a full bag of dude wipes. Say I just want to be able to shove my wallet or something like that. 
I would still want to pack something in here to keep this kind of comfortable. Because while it has this, quote, anti-sweat lining and comfort padding, I mean, it's it's super thin. It just feels like probably some extra nylon shoved in there. So I would still want something to keep this almost rigid and at least a little more padded for me. So yeah, overall, what I will say, the Sino large fanny pack fanny pack belt bag with four zipper pockets for running, hiking, travel, or workout, dog walking, outdoor, sport fishing, waste pack bag. And I just it says four pot. Okay, so one, two, three, and then this pocket on the inside here, which you know, I, maybe I'm a little cynical, but to me that doesn't count as another pocket. To me, pockets inside of pockets are just organization. Another quote pocket to me would have been a zipper back here for a hidden pocket because this isn't really hidden per se. You still have to go in and it's still pretty obvious that there's an extra pocket in here. Now this extra back pocket does not run the full body of this either. So if you think about it, if you're gonna shove something in here, if it's not flat, then it's really kind of say, even just something like this, a quarter inch battery pack, right? And I shove that in there and then I want to wear this against my body, you can see how the corners are sticking out. So, you know, at 15 bucks, here's what I'll say. I, I have spent more on less. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to probably carry this around for a few days. I think it fits the bill for a quick grab while I'm in town or I'm at the beach and just want to have some of the basics with me uh, probably yeah i would feel good about if i was going to do that well, i've got these i might be able to throw a bottle of something in here may not be quite as comfortable so maybe i would want to stick with <clears throat> a, a full backpack if i'm wanting to really transport a lot of stuff but this isn't bad for just a grab and sling for running down to the beach or, you know, going through town doing some sightseeing or just some knickknack shopping. So the Sino, I know I've really kind of focused it on my, quote, vacation trip, but not a terrible fanny pack sling bag for 15 bucks, but probably not the most, I guess, ergonomic. It's just kind of a generic bag without being terrible, without being great. I think the price point at 15 bucks is still pretty fair for what feels pretty good for what honestly I think looks pretty good. I mean, the color is nice. I like this nice wide strap. It moves pretty easily, so that's good. And the clip is nice and kind of chunky, which honestly, I like chunky clips. It makes them easier to handle. So if I suddenly want to take this off, and that is a nice thing that fanny packs have over a lot of sling bags it's kind of why i prefer to use a fanny pack as a sling bag is that i can unbuckle this a lot of sling bags you just have it and you don't have the ability to unsnap it without having to you know deal with a full buckling or hook and whatever system to be able to just unsnap it and say i want to unsnap it and clip it to another bag or you know, say I'm using some horrible public toilet and I need to hang this up because I'm going through stuff in here to, say, get the dude wipes or whatever it is or get into the first aid kit. I have a way to attach it pretty easily, pretty handily. Overall, at 15 bucks, I think it's pretty decent if you're looking for something small, uh, something that's not going to break your heart or break the bank if it gets destroyed or lost. And is a pretty decent just grab and go for an easy carry. So yeah, thank you as always for spending your time with me. And stay safe, be prepared, and have a great day.